the king tides are back again, and you can expect coastal flooding to roll in, especially along those south-facing shores. Yeah, officials and businesses bracing for the potential impact. Alex Serball, she's live at Alamona Beach Park with details, and there's actually some measures that have been put in place, right, Alex? Yeah, that's right. Aloha. Good morning. Yeah, 350. That's when the king tides are going to be rolling around here in Honolulu. And if you, if you guys can see right here, there are sandbags and some um, you know, measures already taken in place just to make sure that the water doesn't come onto the sidewalk. But I want to introduce you guys to Matt Gonzer. He's with the UH Sea Grant program. Now, for those people who still are confused and don't really understand what the king tides are, can you explain that and also talk about the impacts? Sure. So king tides are really just the highest astronomical high tides of the year, so the relationship with the sun and the moon. But as we've been observing statewide f for almost a year at this point, mm -hmm. there's been an additional 6 to 10 inches on top of these predicted high tides. So again, the king tides is just one component mm -hmm. of what can be the ultimate water level along the coast. And the impacts we're talking about, erosion, flooding. And we can see it here, even just disruption to recreational facilities, mm -hmm. obviously erosion. There was a lot of attention in Waikiki and, and mm -hmm. business disruption as we've seen in Mapuna Puna frequently. Oh, yeah. I want to ask you this, because last time, last month, uh, we also had a south swell. So that made things, it escalated things. How will things be different this time around? Similarly, so I mentioned that there's several things that can contribute to the water level. The mm -hmm. king tide is actually, the tide is predicted to be higher this week than okay. it was in May. Okay. However, the, the dynamics between a south swell, what this additional ocean eddy is contributing to the water system, mm -hmm. uh, we can only predict. So what's really important is to be out there making these observations and similar to what we see here, take those lessons for actions moving forward. Okay, sounds good, Matt. Thank you so much. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to be talking about the pictures because last time we asked people to send in photos and we'll talk about kind of how that has helped the UHC grant program, how people sent in their photos and we'll talk about if they still need that for uh, this next time around. But we'll have that information for you coming up in the next 30 minutes. But again, keep Keep in mind, this afternoon, that's when those king tides are expected to roll in. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.